Sunday fun day. Uh, <laughs> well, this is what I wanted to say. I wanted to say what I wanted to talk about. See, I stopped smoking that weed, man. Shit. Oh, that's what I was going to talk about. I was going to talk about basically um I know it's okay to have self love and have self for you and your family and stuff like that some people might even love their material possessions some people might be in love with material possessions some people might be in love with love. But the question is, what and who are you really in love with? Are you in love with God? Do you love Jesus? Do you love God? Do you love Jesus? My Lord and Savior, my Christ, you gotta ask yourself that. You know, my perception, I see people who really don't love Jesus and God. They don't love God like that. You know, they could say they do, and, you know, they put on a persona of a, you know, godly path, like they live for Jesus. But really, they live for what they love. They live for that person they in love with, that thing they in love with, that material possession, material possessions. When are you gonna love God? When are you gonna love Jesus? When are you gonna love Him and get the understanding that he gave you these things. He blessed you with these things that you love, that you want so bad. So why you don't love him just as much as you love these things? These people, these places, these things, these possessions. Yes, he wants you to have love for those things too. But you always supposed to put him first. Your love for him supposed to come first no matter what. Even before your kids, even before your mama. Because he blessed you with your kids. He blessed you. He blessed your mama to give birth to you, to have you. In, your, in her womb when she created you, you, her, and your father. So no, why not love him like you love your mama and you love your daddy and you love your dog and you love your kids? A 
me like I don't understand. And we all and we all felt like when we was younger, you know, we loved our mothers and our fathers to the dearest and our little toys and things like that. And somewhere in, in, in between and growing up in, you know, tile, past Tyler stage and reach adolescence and teenage years and become a young adult. A lot of people is losing their spirit they spiritual guidance for God, for Jesus. Because they letting all these other things that they love get in the way of Jesus and they forgetting all about God. Like I said, of course God wants you to love these, your family, you, your life. the world, the universe, but y'all forgetting about Jesus, y'all forgetting about God, love him too, love Jesus just like you love your material possessions and your wife and your girlfriend and your husband or your boyfriend, they might mean the world to you. But that cannot be done without the blessings of Jesus, of God, of Christ. That's how, That's why you're fortunate and you're blessed to have these things in your life. Because God has given you the abundance to have these things. The ones who most bless is the ones who are blessed and have some gratitude and they 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 bless they blessing God for them having these people and these things in their life. That's why they continuously to get blessed. Just because you love something, that doesn't mean it's gonna love you back as much as you love it or them. That's just laws of nature. Powers of the universe of God, Jesus. You could love that man, you could love that woman all you want, you could love that car all you want, you could love the material possessions all you want, but do it love you back like you love it. You gotta think about that. God, Jesus, loves you more than these things, more than these people. So you got to understand that. He don't want you to forget about these people, these things. He wants you to appreciate the blessings that he gave you. As soon as you forget about him and forgot that he blessed you, he would snatch that away from you so fast. Like some, like you were standing on a rug and somebody snatched it from under your feet and you just, and you on the floor and you just can't, just like, what the heck happened? That's how fast God would to take things that you love out of your life if you forget to love them, if you forgot all about your love for the Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. 
time and I experienced it myself. I got I I was indulging in too much things that I love. I didn't forget about God. I let I let these things of my my sight, my fixation and take over my mind. And he had to remind me, you forgot about me, my son. See, the devil will use that. The devil will always going to use what you love and try to get that to revert to him. Get you away from God. I'm telling you, I experienced that I'm a true believer. I just thank God I'm still alive. I can still be with my family. That's, that's more, that's why I love him even more. Cause he snatched that rug from right under my feet. I wasn't on the floor. I fell below the floor. And he brought me back. He's, he's like, son, just listen. Sorry you had to bump your head, but you forgot about me. You forgot about loving me. You loved everything else. That's why I'm Ever and always I put my love for Jesus, for God first, for anybody, anything in this world. And I won't give that up for not the riches in the world, not anything, nobody. And I swear on the blood of Jesus I will live in that path forever don't forget about loving Jesus God I'm telling you as long as you got love for him and you continue to love him and bask in his glory. I swear nothing could go wrong. I swear nothing could go wrong. You could be in the most... You could be in the most craziest situation. And you will be getting through it. And you will be just like... That would make you just praise him even more. That's why I don't worry about it, because I know I'm protected by God's angels. Yes, amen. Yes, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you so much, God. Thank you. And this ain't no front for, for you, God. I always talk to God like this. Conversation to myself. I always thank God. I, I, I be waking up. I be to, to myself. I just think. I be like, thank you, God. I could just finish going to the store. I be like, thank you, God, for bringing me back from the store. I could be going to this Wegmans. Um, thank you, God, for bringing me back from Wegmans. Getting me there safe. Anywhere I gotta go, I just be thankful. I be just so thankful. Yeah, I'm human. Sometimes I might get agitated. 
like, I don't worry about stuff no more. I know it's just a need for me. Oh, I just, it's just a want for me. I need something. I just know God is only going to give it to me. I could be on my last of it. I could be down to my last couple of packs of meat. And I got three kids. I already know I'm like, Funds might be low, funds might not be low. I already know God going to make a way. Fill that refrigerator up with food. I already know, thank you God, thank you God, thank you God. Because the Lord knows them days. Everything ain't all good. I ain't rich. I ain't getting a whole lot of money. I got a boat and a life jacket, though. That's God. That's Jesus. He's not going to let me drown. He's not going to let me sink. He's not going not gonna to take me away from the things I love because I love him. You know I love him first. So people stop loving your car. Stop loving that girl so much. She probably don't love you that much. Stop loving that dude so much. He probably don't love you that much. Shoot, sometimes you gotta even stop loving your family so much. Cause they ain't even on the path to God. It might be your own kids. Your own mama, your own father. It don't matter, just stay on the path of God. And love God. Stop loving all these other things and all these people and stuff. They ain't even loving you. Because material possessions can't show to love you back. You know that? told me to tell you to love him too. He said it's okay to love the stuff you love. But don't forget about him and love you too. I met him too. Put yourself last sometimes. Put yourself first but put yourself last. But put God first. Happy Sunday, y'all. God bless. Yeah, we good.